Hey, so in this video, I'm going to go over some articles that covered the recent discovery of the Endurance, as well as my experience learning about Shackleton and the expedition behind finding his long lost ship. But before I get into that, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy this video, let me know in the comments below or by liking it. All right, so my experience learning about the Endurance 22 expedition came about by being a subscriber of the Sea Ice Stories channel from which I learned that my friend, Christian, was participating in the expedition. I also saw a New York Times article on the expedition in February, which I went over in this video. Around the time of posting that video, I began exchanging with Christian in the comments of his videos, hoping to promote more engagement, when in fact, it made me feel more connected with their search for the endurance. After weeks of daily videos from the Weddell Sea, with no sign of the ship, I began to think that time was winding down for this search, having the understanding that when doing any sort of scientific research, you oftentimes don't get the result that you're hoping for or expect. And on March 8th, I asked if they were thinking about a part two to the expedition, and Christian, very diplomatically, replied that he'll address that in his next video. To get a sense of how the end of the expedition was beginning to feel, this article goes over how the expedition leaders needed a break from what was beginning to feel like a hopeless search for the long lost wreck, having only four days left to spare on March 5th. But when they returned to the ship from their excursion, they were welcomed back with the news that the Endurance had been found, approximately four miles south of its last recorded location, where it sank 106 years ago, when this photo was taken by Shackleton's photographer, Frank Hurley. The timing of the Endurance 22's discovery couldn't have been more perfect, since Shackleton was buried on the island of South Georgia exactly 100 years prior, on March 5, 1922. The news of their discovery was shared with the world on March 9th after conducting a thorough survey of the pristine wreckage, and I was able to celebrate with Christian via the comment section of his video. Shortly after exchanging with Christian, I realized that this news would captivate the world in a way not so dissimilar to the discovery of the Titanic, and I took a step back to appreciate how monumental this moment in history was, and I was proud to feel connected to it via YouTube. The news most certainly did go viral, especially with marine biologists who closely examined the footage on social media to identify benthic organisms living amongst the wreckage. One organism that stood out was the sea anemone on the bow of the Endurance, resembling Jack Dawson when he exclaimed, I'm king of the world, from the bow of the Titanic in 1912. While the anemones and glass sponges were not necessarily surprising to see, biologists were surprised by some of the organisms that they saw, like what appeared to be white crabs, pixelated in the distance, which they later determined to be squat lobsters. And actually, during the first time I went out to sea, we were collecting deep sea corals and other benthic organisms in the Drake Passage, and we happened to collect some squat lobsters, which was quite exciting for me, since I'm not a biologist. Anyway, after that expedition in 2011, I became enamored with Shackleton and the many heroic tales of Antarctic exploration discovery, and the challenges of survival in such an unforgiving environment. While a documentary on the discovery of the Endurance is currently in production, I don't know that there's much else for me to add, but would be happy to share some of the stories behind the legendary Trans-Antarctic Expedition of 1915, as well as stories from other historic expeditions. If you'd like to learn more about the history of Antarctic exploration, let me know in the comments below and subscribe to the channel for more great content that connects you with the science and the stories behind it.